Today's episode will be all about the SR only class, the pros, the cons, and how do we how do we use it? SR only stands for screen reader only. And the idea behind it is that you're you're creating um, HTML that is specifically meant for screen reader users, hence CSR only, the screen reader users, and for uh, search engine spiders that crawl your website and hide that information that could could look verbose and, and sort of unsightly from a visual perspective. If you hide something with display none, or you hide it with visibility hidden, it actually hides it from search engines and uh, screen reader users. Uh, we can do it two ways. We can create the code in CSS, or we can set it up in the in the Webflow kind of property inspector. So, so I always, always, always just Google SR only. And normally one of the first things that come up, you can see my Stack Overflow is purple because I've been on it so many times. I've asked about it and then someone has kindly broken it up um, here. So what you can see is, is that the position is absolute, giving it a width of one, height of one, with the overflow hidden, it's cropping everything outside of that area. So padding, we're, we're just making sure that's zero, and the margin, once again, we're just making sure everything's kind of reset. Border, again, is just one of those things, a case is element with a border. Clip is a property that we don't get inside of Webflow, so, we can, um, we clipping is again, it's just, it's similar to the overflow hidden. We're just doubly making sure that we're, we're not showing that um, element. So you can see here that I've got an SR only class there. And you know, like I say, this can be anything you want as long as you're, as long as you're, you're aware of what it does. And you can see that I've made a margin of minus one everywhere on the, on the, um, on the element. Um, um, a width and a height of one overflow is hidden. The position is is absolute, and that's it. And that's that's oh, there, there's the border actually. There's the border you can see. So I'll apply the border and make sure that it's um, zero. So now, whenever I want to use this class, whenever I want to hide certain uh, pieces of content, I'll use this class. So what kind of pieces of content would you want to um, hide? Um, I've got I've got learn more, um, so it might be difficult for screen readers to actually understand what they're learning more about. Link block and add piece of text. Learn more, and then if we add another text block here, uh, make sure we add that space about branding because a screen reader will use will read this link as one. Um, one sentence, so we want to make sure we add that space there, and then we can add that SR only class on on that last element. So I'll just make that white, so we can all see it. There we go. So you've got learn more, and then you've got the hidden about branding. So that's, that's another that's another kind of practical, but also quite sneaky way of adding further keywords into into the. Um, into a link. This is sort of another way we need to be mindful of the, the content we create, the HTML that we create, and how we might show and hide these these things to to um, to users. So that's it. That's my episode on SR only. If you haven't understood anything, you want me to clarify anything, please just let me know. I get back to every single comment. So until next time, happy no coding.